This video is going to cover the topic of the subtracting integers algorithm. Be sure the date and topic are at the top of the page. The essential question for this video is, what is one way we can remember how to subtract integers? And as we have seen in class, there are four different situational rules that we kind of have to keep track of when we are subtracting integers. One such example is a negative minus a negative. When tasked with subtracting a negative number from another negative number, we need to find the difference of the two absolute values. Let's look at an example. If we have negative 7 minus a negative 5, we need to find the difference of the two. So 7 minus 5 is 2. And it would be a negative 2 because if I'm moving up the number line 5 spaces to the right, it won't actually cause us to cross zero, right? We will still be in negative territory. On the other hand, if we have negative 5 minus a negative 7, right, we still have two negatives, so we're still looking for the absolute values in between. So 7 minus 5 is still 2, but this time it's a positive 2 because if we move un 7 units to the right, it will land us in positive territory this time. So we kind of have to picture that number line a bit. A second scenario might be doing a positive minus a negative. And in this case, we need to add the total absolute values. And the answer will always be positive. And for this quick example, we we'll use the same digits here, 7 minus a negative 5. Right? We would add the absolute values of 7 and 5, and that would be a 12. And of course, it's implied there, but it would be a positive 12. A third situation would be a negative minus a positive. And when we are tasked with subtracting a positive from a negative number, we would need to add the total absolute value, and then the answer will always be negative. And so let's look at another quick example. We had negative 7, and we're going to subtract a positive 5. Right? 7 plus 5 would be 12, but unlike in example 2, this example, the answer would be negative. We'd be moving further down the number line. And a final situation that we might see is having a smaller positive and needing to subtract from it a larger positive. And in that case, we would need to find the difference. But the answer here would be negative. So maybe 5, just a regular 5, minus a regular positive old 7. The difference between 5 and 7 is 2. But because we are subtracting something more than what we have, our answer would wind up in negative territory. So there are a lot of situations to remember, right? And we have some materials that we can use to help us, and these notes can help us. Um, and also, anytime you are working with integers while you're doing the problem, you really kind of want to see the numbers. And so maybe picturing a number line or thinking about our chip model will really help us know if our answer makes sense. However, there is another thing that we can use as kind of a memory trick to help us while we think about this. And that is the expression or mantra that says keep, change, change. And this is something that can you, you can use to help you rewrite some subtracting problems into a little bit more friendly addition problem. Some of us have noticed, and a few of us have commented in class, that subtracting integers really seems to be the opposite of adding integers, which makes sense. So one thing we can do is turn our subtracting problems into addition problems. And to do that, we use this mantra of keep, change, change. And I'm going to show you what I mean. So in keep, change, change, we always keep our first integer just as it is. So if we have negative 7 minus negative 5, we'll still use a negative 7. But then we would change the operation to addition. So now this would be negative 7 plus, that's our first change. And then we also change the second integer to the opposite. So now this becomes a positive 5, right? So we have negative 7 plus 5. And we know from our work with addition that negative 7 plus 5 would be a negative 2, right? We know the addition rules pretty well by this time. In our second example, right, we have a positive 7 minus a negative 5. I'm going to keep my first integer the same, still a 7, but I'm going to make it an addition problem. 
and change the sign of the second number. So essentially, now we just have 7 plus 5, which we all know, of course, is 12. I've kept the same first integer, I've changed the sign of the second of the operation, and I changed the sign of the second integer. Here we have a negative 7 minus 5. I'm going to keep the negative 7. I'm going to change my subtraction to addition, and I'm going to change my 5 to negative 5. So now I have negative 7 plus another negative 5, and of course our work with addition tells us that would be a negative 12. And we can even use it with our last example. If this helps you or not, I'm not sure which way you prefer, but we could also do keep the 5, right? Change it to an addition problem, and turn our second integer into a negative. So we would have 5 plus a negative 7. Using our adding rules, we know our answer would be a negative 2. And this is a handy memory trick, right? We keep the first integer the same. We change the operation from subtraction to addition. And then we change the sign of the second integer. And then, of course, we just add with our adding integer rules. But this is really only useful if we understand what's happening when we're working with negatives, which is why I didn't just show this to you from the get-go. We always want to make sure we understand what we are doing with the integers. And when we get an answer, we always want to make sure that the answerable answer is reasonable and it makes sense. So I'm going to add a fourth step, right? Keep, change, change, check. Because we always want to check that our answer is reasonable and makes sense. So remember that the essential question for this video was what is one way we can remember how to subtract integers? We know there are a bunch of different rules we have to keep track of, but maybe we can use this kind of memory trick, keep, change, change, check, to kind of help us as we are moving along with negative numbers. Be sure to have your notes and any questions you might have for class.